Nope. Thank you, Russ. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Greetings and salutations. My name is Professor Britannica. You may know my brother, Professor Pseudodrop. <laughs> Fancies himself a philosopher and a poet. <laughs> no, we never really got along as children. Um, I'm more of a scientist and a uh, seduction artist. So, um, which one do you want to see first? Science! So science! Science. Oh, oh, well, okay. Well, in that case, um, I need a volunteer. Um, is there someone out there who would like to be my assistant? Uh, you, ma'am, right there, right there. Come on up on stage. Thank you, thank you. So she's coming up here. Um, what I'm going to do first is uh, introduce my lovely assistant. Uh, what's your name, Megan? Nice to meet you. Um, what I want you to do is uh, I want you to see if you can tear this belt in half with your bare hands. <laughs> it's a real belt, yes? No, you can't. It's a leather belt, yes? Can't, uh... Nope. I think it's pretty solid. Okay. So, <laughs> the what? The spank test. Oh, well, um, bend over. No. <laughs> um, so this is a real leather belt. Um, I am going to tear it in half with my bare hands. Um, really, it all has to do with science. In fact, everything I'm going to show you up here uh, today or this evening, you'll be able to take home and repeat or take to the bar and repeat and get free drinks. But... Um, <laughs> What you need to do is first find the center point of the belt and then wrap it one direction, then the other. And what this will do, if uh, my hands will stop shaking, is create uh, basically like a screw or a jar lid, it creates torsion or torque, which is force uh, supplied around a circular path. And when you twist it, like you're twisting uh, clockwise, uh, that tightens it and adds more force toward the middle, which will eventually snap. So as I twist, it's building torsion and torque, and eventually it will break in half. Well, maybe. <laughs> Do do do, ta-da! You know, uh, phone books—they're—they're uh, they're not very useful anymore. This is a real phone book, right? It's not anything fake. Yeah, we uh, flip it open. Yeah, show the show the folks. Real phone book. Yes, it's not cooked. Did not cook the books. Thank you. So, um, like I said, phone books aren't really good for much anymore, uh, except, you know, like kindling. So, um, let's just uh, take this one apart. Ah, come on. So, now, what I did there, um, anybody can do. And in fact, I brought another phone book to show you. But this time I brought a tiny one, so uh, it's easier. Um, but what you have to do, and I'm gonna let my assistant do it, actually, if she can, is um, fold it in half, okay? And as it's folded, you place both your thumbs inside the fold. Now what this will do is it creates tension, and for those of you who don't know, tension is a force uh, wrought through a uh, string or a piece of paper um, that when you uh, increase the force, it will cause a breakage. So what you have to do, like I said, is just fold it in half, stick your thumbs in, and rip, okay? See if you can do that. You gotta 
There you go. As it's folded in half. No? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's really, uh, what you, as, as I said, you have to, in the fold, okay, you just <laughs> ribbon and out. <laughs> All right. And so, uh, for my final performance, or demonstration, um, I'm going to do a $20 challenge. I'm going to put up $20 of my own money. Okay. And um, what I want you to do is, if I can get the coins out of my pocket, I'm totally digging for coins, nothing else, I promise. Okay. So, get them all nice and neatly stacked, which is difficult to do, again, with shaking hands. We're just going to use the quarters. Okay. <laughs> but what I'd like you to do is remove the $20 bill without touching the coins or the bottle, and you get to keep the coins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a teacher. I'm broke, okay? So <laughs> Proceed. Oh, dang it! <laughs> well! <laughs> oh, fail! Okay, maybe I do need more coins. Um, the, tri <laughs> the trick is not supposed to work. Most of the time... <laughs> most of the time the coins fall over. Um, and usually, like I said, it's, it's done with a lot more quarters and a much higher stack. What happens is, uh, due to the weight, it creates uh, friction between the um, dollar bill and the um, coins. And so if you try to tug it, it's uh, stop shaking. <laughs> there we go. All right, so if you try to tug it, it pulls the coins. So a quick way to do this is to uh, wet your finger, because this will create more friction between your finger and the dollar bill, and knock it out. <laughs> you see, anything with mass has inertia, and these coins are in a state of equilibrium. That means they're not moving up or down, left or right. Well, relatively, but that's a different lesson. Um, <laughs> in any case, um, the coins don't really want to move, except the friction between the dollar bill and the coins cause it to, unless you do it properly. Anyways, um, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And uh, what about the what do you have the rest of the production? Yeah. production? That that wasn't seductive enough for you. I mean, yeah. the brains here. <laughs> um, <laughs> The money, no. Um, but again, thank you, Megan, very much. And thank you all.